There's something unsettling about hand grenades. As modern military operations move towards unprecedented levels of precision and detachment, the grenade stands in stark contrast. It's not meant for a sanitized, remote war, but instead a raw and personal engagement. From the 7th century Byzantine sailors throwing clay pots with Greek fire, to the thunder crash bombs of the Song Dynasty, the storied history of hand-thrown explosives is a fascinating one. Spherical vessels filled with gunpowder were used in Europe in the late medieval period as naval and siege weapons. The term grenade originates from this time. These early weapons were dangerous and unreliable. However, they represent an important stage in the development of military technology and tactics. The inner workings of a modern hand grenade are both remarkably simple and precise, designed to be incredibly safe and reliable. Comprised of the outer steel body, often designed in a particular way to encourage fragmentation, the filling and explosive materials such as Composition B, and the fuse assembly located at the top of the grenade. Hand grenades truly came into prominence during the 20th century, becoming a staple of World War I trench warfare and the Russo-Japanese War that preceded it a decade earlier. Their modern design can be traced back to British engineer Sir William Mills, who improved upon earlier designs with the introduction of the safety pin, timed fuse, and the intentionally designed shell that encourages fragmentation. World War II saw the refinement of grenade design, producing iconic models like the American Pineapple MK2 and the German Model 24. Post-World War II, grenade designs evolved to meet new demands, leading to the development of specialty grenades such as smoke, incendiary, and flashbangs for specific tactical roles. The M67 fragmentation grenade is used by the United States military as the main fragmentation type grenade. This device carries a spherical steel body packed with six and a half ounces of Composition B explosive. A small yet powerful device, the M67 measures at just two and a half inches in diameter and weighs only 14 ounces. Upon detonation, the casing is designed to break apart into fragments with a lethal range of five meters and a casualty producing range of 15 meters. The M67 contains two safety devices, the safety pin and the spoon. The spoon is held in place by the safety pin. It also holds the spring-loaded striker assembly. When the safety pin is removed, the grenade is considered live. However, as long as the spoon is held in place, the striker cannot cause detonation. When the grenade is thrown, however, the spring-loaded striker assembly ejects the spoon, rotating until it strikes the percussion cap. The ignition from the percussion cap lights the fuse, a small tube containing a delay element, usually a combustible powder or pyrotechnic composition. This delays the explosion for about four to five seconds, burning at a controlled rate towards the detonator. When the fuse reaches the detonator, it causes this chemical to explode. The M18 was first introduced during the Korean War, replacing the World War II era M15. The M18 is filled with approximately 11 and a half ounces of colored smoke mixture. When burned, produces clouds for up to 90 seconds out of an emission hole in the bottom. Available in red, yellow, green, and violet, the M18 colors were specifically chosen to be distinctive and visible, even during adverse conditions. With similar dimensions and characteristics, the M83 smoke grenade comes in white and is primarily used for screening activities of small units. Then comes the AN M14 TH3 incendiary grenade, designed to set things ablaze, including enemy equipment and structures. The M14 contains a mixture of thermate, making it capable of generating a temperature of 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit, as a portion of the thermate mixture is converted to molten iron. It produces its own oxygen, and therefore can burn while underwater. 
designed to defeat enemy machines, vehicles, shelters, or munitions. Lastly, the M84 Stun Grenade, also known as the Flashbang, was designed for situations where lethal force was undesirable. The main charge consists of a flash powder, usually a mixture of aluminum powder and potassium perchlorate, which when ignited, creates an exothermic reaction, rapidly producing a large amount of light and a deafening bang. Perforations allows the light and sound to escape without causing the grenade to fragment. The flashbang emits an overbearing 170 to 180 decibel bang and a flash of over 1 million candelas, enough to temporarily blind and deafen anyone within a 5 meter radius, providing a tactical advantage. In an era where the drums of war are beating louder with each passing day, the hand grenade has become a surprisingly adaptive piece of equipment. Trench warfare once again plagues Europe with the ongoing war in Ukraine, and we're getting an unprecedented first-hand look at their combat effectiveness. While small in size, they have an oversized impact, not only by filling their century-old role of clearing trenches, but also acting as a psychological weapon, terrorizing soldiers from above. Paired with a consumer-grade drone and drop from the sky, the hand grenade has evolved to meet the demands of modern battlefields albeit via unconventional means. Their continued evolution reflects not just advances in technology, but also changes in our approach to warfare, strategy, and tactical operations.